Good afternoon, five fans. Here we are at Cage Steel 19, Ram Doncaster Dome. Our next fight of the evening is a welterweight amateur MMA bout. In the blue corner, we've got Tommy Coyle fighting out of AVT, and he'll be taking on Brad Loughton from Sub MMA in the red corner. I'm Harry Straight, Harry Strait and tonight, me live and direct. We've got Wayne McKenna. All right, Harry, we're on. Tommy Coyle has had quite a number of fights. I think it's three and three. Experienced guy now fighting out of uh, ABT in Scunthorpe. It's Lawton's debut and he's looking keen. Yeah, he's in good physical shape. He's a tall of guys. Oh, oh. oh, there's one in the baby maker. He took a knee, but the ref didn't see it. He's Tom fighting on. Yeah, Tommy Coyle with the underhooks trying to turn him towards the fence in his own corner. Lands his own knee. He's got the over under. He needs to use his head, control with his head. You can see him now pushing it into the chest, moving Loughton's head away. Oh, nice, yeah. uh, nice knee coming in from Coyle. And they've separated. It's a slow switch. Good push kick. Tommy Coyle closing the distance, put his opponents against the fence. Coyle with a good knee. Going for that single leg takedown. Can he get it? He just needs to be careful of his neck. He's got to pick both legs and he's pulled him out. There's a guillotine half on. He's through up. He's out of that. He's inside control. He'll be looking to put his right knee over now to get full mount. So we've got coil on top. That one at the bottom. He's looking to push off the fence, trying to turn him. He's doing the right thing by trying to turn into his opponent, but Coyle looks. He puts the knee just to the side, stays. He's managed to power his way out. Scrambled up. Looks like he's going for a single leg, but he needs to be careful with that neck. Coyle controls it, progresses to the back. That's it, he's got... He's took his back. He's took his back now, he's got potentially... He's stopped grabbing the fence. He needs to turn into Coyle. He needs to be very careful that he doesn't get suplexed here. Yeah, Coyle looking. still with the closed arms. Can he do it? We saw Coyle win against Luke Dalton. Back at Cage Steel 18. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to pull his legs out against the fence again to get another takedown. Locked up the single. Can he take it? These moves, they all sap energy when you try to lift your opponent. Yeah, the one thing that you don't realise, even when they're stood still, these guys are muscle against muscle. It really wears you out in these three-minute rounds. That's it, and we can see that he's getting chipped in the face. <laughs> yeah, Tommy Kyle picks him up, but he still doesn't get him down. He's exerted a lot of energy there. That's it, using masses of energy whilst getting uh, little little chips in the face. That's it, he yeah. gets it on the... <laughs> It's, a, a down. it's unfortunate because it looked as if uh, Loughton actually went down as if you're going to go for a guillotine as well at the same time. Coyle very offensive going for the takedown. We didn't see much stand up between either guy but what we did see were quite even. I think you're a bit more uh, aggressive from Coyle but uh, there's still much more to play for in round two. So we've got Coyle from AVT and we can see in his corner we've got Rico, Franco and Danny Mitchell the uh, head coach at AVT and in Brad Lawton's corner we've got uh, sub MMA referee for this one we've got Dean Weir here we are for round number two 
This is amateur MMA, so this will be three three minute rounds. And we're up. Show respect, we're on. Nice jab from Coyle. Coyle looking for that takedown again. Just be careful of that head. Coyle's locked the single leg. Looks like he's going for the double, but he hasn't joined the arms up. Lawton digging, uh, digging a deep grip under the neck. A guillotine that, grip. Yeah, I think that choke's there if he wants it. There's an arm in guillotine, but he might be able to dash him as well. He's a tall guy with nice long arms, but he said he's gone for the underhook on the right-hand side. What oh, no, it looks like? He got it. Yeah, got I think he's going for an arm in guillotine. Yeah, he's going for an arm in guillotine, but he let go. He couldn't get enough on it. He's now got coil and open guard. He's got an open guard, he looks as if he's trying to back up and stand. Or maybe try to sweep Coyle to the right. Pushing the head away. Yeah, Lawton doing quite well to... Uh... Yeah, he's being quite defensive, but Coyle, he's got that open guard. Coyle can progress whenever he likes, really. He can just pick his knee straight through. You'd usually have an open guard if you're being offensive, moving the hips, going for the arm bars and things. But he's, he's remaining on his back, he's not really going for much, but he's still got the open guard. We've got to also remember in the first round, Coyle will have used a lot of energy trying to lift his opponent, Lawton. Yeah, especially those where he attempted and couldn't get him down. It's a constant pressure and constant picking the weight up. He's gone for the guillotine, but I think he might be able to stand. There's a Kamara on the left side. You can see Coyle's coach is now telling him to step over with the open guard. He can just progress the knee over if he wants. He's controlling the fight from the top still. He's got the top position, picking away. Experienced referee Dean Weir. He's seen enough to let it continue. And Coyle just stands up backwards and moves around. Inside control now, can he, uh, can he capitalise on this? He's inside control, he's putting his weight down. Picking away some shots and it looks as if he's going to try close down, get a crucifix. Trap the right arm of Loughton. And he's progressed to the mount. Final 10 seconds. And it's the long change. Yeah, it powers up. He pushes up too high. He's reversed it. Final 10 seconds, so I don't think he's going to be able to land much damage. But good progression, he managed to, uh, as soon as he did get the positive position, he changed it round. Where can you see the scores going for this, Harry? Uh, Those so two rounds to uh, Coyle. Yeah, I think it's been too much aggression and control uh, for Coyle. He's been constantly wrestling. I'd say 90% of the time he was in top position, or uh, he was the aggressor going for the takedown. And obviously that shows uh, with the judges. If you were in the corner now of Lowen, what would you be saying? What would you? Well, if you want to win the fight, you've, he's still very much in it. If you want to win the fight, you've got to get in with either a quick submission or go for a knockout, but we've not seen any stand-up really in the uh, first two rounds. Yeah, I suppose Coyle's quite nice at controlling the situation. He closes it, he keeps the pressure, he weighs your opponent to the ground, he kind of grinds it out. I think Lowen needs to go for the big explosive Hell Mary is two rounds down now. He needs to go out windmilling. Um, That's, what like to see. That's what we'd like That's to see. see. <laughs> We're on third round, final round. Leg kicks. Inside leg kick, he's got some low hands. Big leg kick returned. Yeah, nice stiff jabs by Coyle. Stepped in. Oh, and a nice right as well. See, this is very deceptive after you've had a guy, an opponent for two rounds trying to take you down. down and then he suddenly wants to try and stand with you. You don't know whether he's going to try to take you down or not. You don't know how to defend. And this is where the bad knockouts happen, because you don't realise uh, 
where he's going to go. So your hands are low. If you look at Lauter now, his hands are by his waist. If Coyle wanted, he could land an overhand at any time. But it's Lauter with the takedown. He's left his chin out. Can he win it? And he's oh. pulled his opponent down onto him. He's in the full mount. He's landed on full mount. He pulls his opponent backwards. That didn't work out. He planned. No, he did switch it before. I think if Coyle lands some big shots, That's I think it. it's going to be an easy finish. He's landed some big hooks. He's trying to turn into it, but I don't know if he's got enough energy to do it. Landed some nice hammer fist by Coyle. It's not going to take many of them. He's given his back up. That's it. Are we going to see a rear naked? Is he going to beat him down first? See, I think Coyle's just enjoying it at the minute. He hadn't had to work for this takedown. It's a nice change for him. He needs to be careful that his opponent doesn't turn into him. Yeah, Coyle's still got that back control. He's sinking the right arm in. And he sticks to his back like a starving monkey. Beautiful. <laughs> He's got the hooks in. It's going to be hard to try and just shake him off. And he starts to start working, try and move his legs. He's uh, got his legs out. That's it, he's tapped. He's tapped, rear naked. Tommy Coyle took it by submission in the third round. Great control. That's it, two wins in a row. Two cage steals, two wins. Excellent job. Big respect to both fighters.